When it comes to CRISPR, most of the attention tends to be on scientists and doctors using CRISPR-Cas in order to target specific genes that they know do specific things and edit those genes, turn those genes off, turn those genes on, all these various things to a gene that they know what does. But one of the biggest uses of CRISPR in the laboratory is actually as a screening tool to figure out what genes do what. Basically, CRISPR works by using a guide RNA to target a Cas protein to a specific place on DNA, and then the Cas protein can either cut the DNA to permanently knock out or inactivate the gene so it can't be used. It can be a dead Cas protein where instead of cutting it, this decast protein is actually attached to another part that is then going to activate the gene. So this would be a CRISPR-A or inactivate the gene CRISPR-I based on things like transcriptional activation and repression. If you're doing a screen, you don't know what gene you actually want to look for. And so what you do is you have these guide RNAs that target every single gene in whatever cell type you're using. And so you'll have this big collection or library of these sgRNAs, single guide RNAs, and then you can actually make like a lengthy viral library. So you use a harmless virus in order to get one guide per cell and you put it in a bunch of cells and now you go and you test the group of cells in a positive screen you'll go and you'll look and see which of the cells had the feature that you wanted and now you can go and sequence the guide rnas in those cells and therefore you can see which genes were being targeted in a negative screen here you're kind of looking at which ones dropped out or which ones aren't present in the survivors or in the cells that have the thing that you want and so here you basically sequence all of the cells in the untreated conditions and all of the cells in the treated conditions and see which guide RNAs are kind of depleted. Typically what you want to do is you're going to use multiple guides per gene that you're targeting to make sure that you can be confident in your hits and because some of these guides might not be as effective as other guides. Hopefully helpful analogy, say you have a bunch of light switches in your house and you've got the light and you cannot figure out how to turn it on. This would be like a positive screen where you go and you turn on every single light switch and see which of those light switches actually turn on the light. But instead of doing it one at a time, you're doing it in parallel. So it's like you had a bunch of virtual universes of that room and you're doing it one switch per room. If you have a negative screen, however, here your light is stuck on and you're trying to figure out how to turn it off. And so now you're gonna go and turn off all those light switches and see which of those turned off the light. CRISPR-A can be useful for doing things like seeing which genes are responsible for differentiation of cells in, from one type to another. So if I turn on this gene, does it suddenly become this type of cell? CRISPR-I is useful for doing things like seeing which genes are responsible for allowing a cell to survive under various conditions 